Dr. Gary Reed. I'm director of GYN Oncology. Uh, my role here at Ohio Health uh, is to provide comprehensive GYN oncology services to women. It was just my yearly appointment. I didn't have any signs or symptoms or any expectations that there was going to be anything wrong. So when I got the phone call that it was a, a bad pap smear, there were some cells that they found that weren't quite right. So I went in for another time and they took took a biopsy of my uterus and another biopsy, I think, of my cervix. And I got the phone call a few days later that they were cancer cells. Well, in the case of Beth, some of her primary concerns, as are the same as with all uh, patients with cancer, they want to know, is use of the Da Vinci robot going to be as effective as if we're doing a laparotomy or an incision? Uh, and we assure them that, yes, it is. So after discussing the variety of options with my physician and meeting with Dr. Reed, I chose to go with the robotic surgery, mostly because of the recovery time and also because of the scarring. It was going to be much, much less scarring. I explained that the differences between traditional methods and the da Vinci uh, are basically our goal is to try and accomplish the exact same thing. We don't want to compromise anything with their care, but the robot allows us to get them out of the hospital sooner and it's less invasive. The da Vinci robot uh, works by taking the surgeon's commands, which our foot pedals and a combination of hand movements and by computer linkage connects them to instruments that are actually in the patient's abdomen and carrying out what the surgeon desires. Basically it's, it's less invasive and therefore um, its recovery time is faster risk of blood loss is less, risk of infection is less. After my robotic surgery, I went home two days later and I took it easy for a few days, but then four days later, I was able to host a 4th of July party with my friends and family and was able to do some things around the house. I even went out grocery shopping within the first week and I wasn't allowed to carry the grocery bags, but I was able to take a friend with me. Well, recovery time for robotic surgery, in best case, as in all cases, is a world of difference. It's just markedly different. It's the major advantage that we see with robotic surgery. The typical patient that, uh, like Beth or I would operate on for cancer of the uterus, or in her case, cervical cancer, would go home in one night versus four nights on average in the hospital. My experience here at the hospital with Ohio Health was really wonderful. Um, the nurses were very caring and helpful, and um, the patient care assistants were fabulous, very caring. Well, at Ohio Health, uh, we've always been on the cutting edge of medicine, and the Da Vinci robot is just one of those tools. Well, here at Ohio Health, I wouldn't have wanted to go anywhere else with the state-of-the-art technology and the wonderful care, I, this was definitely the place for me.